Fruit Loops for breakfast. It's McIntyre in the morning on Talk Radio 790 KABC. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. I guess if you say so, I'll have to pack my things and go. 9.38, Talk Radio 790, KBC McIntyre in the morning on the 13th day of February. And uh, we're here till 10, and of course, uh, Hit the Road, Jack, that's Jack Weiss. That's what everybody's been singing about, uh, whether it's uh, Michael Amarian, uh, Carmen Tritanich, uh, tr and uh, Noel Weiss, we have sp and Jack Weiss. We've talked to all the candidates and now we've completed the set. All the candidates for city attorney as we welcome in studio David Berger, professional criminal prosecutor. David, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning, Doug. It's a real pleasure to be here. And uh, I hope you've got some good questions for me. Well, the first question is, what is it that you bring to the city attorney's office that's missing right now? In three words, leadership, experience, and integrity. Leadership. I'm the guy that has formed alliances between different law enforcement agencies and prosecutorial agencies to take care of the business of making cities safe. And in terms of experience, I had two years out in the Antelope Valley working with the Sheriff's Department, working with the cities of Lancaster and Palmdale, working with probation, parole, the housing authority, the federal authorities, bringing together all those different law enforcement agencies who often work separately but bringing them together to work together. That's what I want to do with the city attorney's office. You see, we have the city attorney's office and we have the DA's office. Most of the time, we're even in the same courthouse and yet there is no interrelationship. We are doing the same job. We are fighting crime and we need to coordinate our efforts because when you coordinate efforts, you get a much more powerful weapon against crime. And crime, don't believe the nonsense you're hearing about crime going down. I mean, this is the, the, one of the many lies that are being sold to Los Angelinas right now by our mayor, and I'm sorry to say by Chief Bratton, is that crime is going down. That is nonsense. We are in a recession. What do you think happens in a recession? People lose their jobs and they turn to crime. Uh, people who are already in crime prey on victims all the more. You're going to see more burglaries. You're going to see more car thefts. You're going to see more assaults. You're going to see more robberies. Please don't buy this life. We need to get tough on crime and we need to start now. Uh, David Berger is uh, the candidate we're talking to. The city attorney has a website, burger4ca.com, and it's B-E-R-G-E-R, -E the number 4ca.com. Now, uh, Walter Moore asked you to run for this office. Why did you say yes? I thought about it and I thought, I looked at, I looked at uh, first of all, I looked at who was running, Jack Weiss. He's been my council member for eight years. This is a guy who took illegal campaign contributions. That's documented, okay? Uh, not only did he take those, what was more offensive was when required by the city charter to divest himself of those illegal campaign contributions, he refused. Not only that, he received taxpayer, our money, matching funds based on those illegal campaign contributions. And again, he just doesn't return them. Jack Weiss, though, says that he's an experienced criminal prosecutor. Oh, yes. Yeah, take a look at his website where he has this uh, wonderful page which says uh, Jack Weiss, the experienced prosecutor. In the background, you'll see this gorgeous courtroom graphic of him prosecuting the bad, the hard case, right? It's called the Oppenheimer case. I looked it up. It's actually a case involving a former Mouseketeer. <laughs> yeah. I, the, Jack you know, Weiss I, sent a Mouseketeer to jail? I can't make this stuff up. You know, he, <laughs> the experienced prosecutor, got three months, three months, folks, on a Mouseketeer. And that was apparently <laughs> one of only two trials the experienced prosecutor has ever done in his experience as an a, a assistant U.S. attorney. And that was ten years ago. So, in other words, Jack Weiss has spent more time at the food court in the mall than the actual court of exactly, law. Exactly, exactly. Uh, to, you know... To, uh, to put it one way, he's, he is full of it, and we all know what it is. Now, uh, the gangs, uh, we got a gang problem. We, uh, we're pushing for Jamil's law. We have Special Order 40. What would you do about that as city attorney for Los Angeles? 
Well, of course, I, I'm not the guy who goes out there and busts heads, although I have done that. Um, I know that there's a will amongst LAPD to take a more aggressive stance against gang members, and their hands are being tied by management because you have a chief who is, has decided he's not going to take on the mayor, and a mayor who has the effrontery to think that anyone who's an immigrant is, is going to resent being asked, uh, are you a legal immigrant? I am an immigrant. Okay, I come from London, in case anyone hasn't picked up on my accent. It's not Texas, it's London. Um, I've lived I in... thought that it could have been, uh, you know, Guatemala. I wasn't well, sure. Well, uh, you know, uh, I do say I say it from time to time. But the bottom line is, uh, I, I did it the right way. 1989, uh, I got my green card. I got my citizenship. I went to law school in England. I've been to, uh, to law school in the U.S. because the systems are quite different. And I've been with the DA's office for 12 years. That has been my legal career, uh, prosecuting crime, making cities safer, and that's what we need in the city attorney's office. You don't need Jack Weiss in there with all that baggage. His relationship with the billboard company stinks. And if you think... You, and by the way, Rocky Delgadillo, the current occupant of the city attorney's office, also got all those free billboards from the billboard people when well, he was running. Well, when the deal was brokered to, to settle the, agree the uh, dispute between the billboard companies and the city of Los Angeles, that awful deal, right, there were two lawyers in the office, Jack Weiss and Rocky Delgadillo, who coincidentally both took illegal campaign contributions from the same developer. These people stink. They're trying to sell you a sop. They're trying to say we're superheroes. And when you actually dig a little bit below the surface and you see what you're being sold, it doesn't stack up. We need integrity in this office. We do not need another Delgadillo in the city attorney's office. We're talking, uh, we're t we're talking with uh, David Berger. His uh, campaign website is Berger, B-E-R-G-E-R, 4 ca dot com. And uh, if you can't remember that, just go to kbc.com because all of the interviews we've done with the candidates, and we've spoken to every member, uh, every candidate for city attorney, including Jack Weiss, they're all posted at kbc.com. We have a special city election campaign site set up. And you can go and listen to all of our interviews with the various candidates and, and learn about them. As, uh, as uh, uh, Dennis Zine said the other day, the vote for anybody but Jack Weiss. That was amazing that he said that, really, yeah. wasn't it? You know, it's the first endorsement I've received <laughs> from a politician. Uh, you know, I take vote for anybody as an endorsement. I'm not looking for endorsements in this race. I'm looking for people to vote. I'm looking for ordinary people. I, I don't really think there's much value in endorsements. Uh, uh, Laura Chick, the uh, current city controller, uh, got into a big fight with Rocky Delgadillo over whether she has the ability to do a performance review, especially on the workers' comp claims and all of that stuff that were being paid out. Uh, do you believe that Laura Chick or the, any city controller has the authority to do those audits of the city attorney's office? That's a loaded question. Let me tell you why. I would trust Laura Chick implicitly to, to conduct an audit on my office. I'm, I have my doubts about Wendy Gruel. Last night at a candidate's forum, uh, she was asked about the phony phone tax. You know, I think everyone now agrees we were sold a total lie. Well, it was bait and switch. Yeah. We, we, we would shut down a 7-Eleven for doing that. Okay. Uh, Wendy Gruel's justification for it was, well, the people voted for it. You know, this is the sort of half-truth that we keep getting. Yes, they voted for something because you didn't tell them what it was. Now, I will not only invite and uh, for a, a, the city controller to audit the city attorney's office, I will also have my own blue ribbon committee, independent, with valued people who are with proven track records to check that office out and to give me recommendations. People think an audit is about money. It's not. It's about recommendations for improvement. And boy, does that city attorney's office need improvement. There is so much talent there that is being wasted and is not being utilized. We do not need to hire outside attorneys. We've got really good skill in that office. We need to use it. David Berger, good luck on Election Day, which is March 3rd, a day we're going to give, uh, we're going to kick to the nuts to the system in Los Angeles, crooked system. Uh, Berger4ca.com is the campaign website. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Doug, thank you. You are doing a public service for the citizens of uh, Los Angeles by letting them know they do have a choice. To use your words, let's have a tsunami sweep over City Hall and wash this rubbish out. And let's see if we can watch.